Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Spirit Hunters Infinite Horde. Uh, today we will be taking a look at Conrad's Big Bone. Yes, uh, I've completed the bone in the uh, New Beginnings Path. Uh, honestly, there isn't too much left weapon-wise. We only have two talent points left, or web unlocks left, which are these two. Both are plus two damage, both are highly overpriced, with this one being a 50% discount of this one. Um, so the mines and the Grand Hex are the only incomplete weapons, but everything else is completed. There are some more things to unlock on the web. Most notably, though, are just the speed increases, maybe some some duration. Um, but everything that effectively helps us in a run is unlocked. Uh, I have not unlocked all of the pets. I mean, we have some Rupert, we have some uh, Lockpick down here, which I can get. I just want to try and make sure we can get... Uh, some some pets that we want uh, for these videos. So, I will be unlocking them, though, in the end. Uh, it will happen, but that will be later. So today, uh, as stated, uh, we will be using Conrad's 30% Bigger Bone as our primary weapon. Uh, to accompany that, uh, we will be using the Grand Hex, just for some random damage. Uh, nothing too crazy. The mines to protect us uh and we will be using the spears to protect us as well nothing too crazy you know we want we want the bones to be doing as much as possible so we don't want things that are too fast and whatnot um, and the bones will be our primary weapon uh we will be going to the bone zone of the dark forest i mean if we're using the bone we might as well see as many skellies as possible and thankfully i don't really care too much for levels overall i mean i don't care about two weapons uh, is essentially what I mean by that. Uh, because we don't need two weapons, we have the bone. Uh, with the bone and just some protection, we will be perfectly fine. Uh, as you can see, the cooldown rate already getting down there, and the bones have that nice little explosion for half damage, which again, is pretty nice. Uh, we do have some range, which for the bone, for me personally, is the worst out of all of the upgrades. Uh, but, I mean, you know, that's neither here nor there. Now we can see no upgrades that we did want, so let's actually use our reroll, hopefully get something. Oh, but we gotta take that cooldown. We, we're gonna focus on the bones, I will take it. Again, the explosion's actually doing some pretty good work. I can't argue with that. We'll take the Grand Hex as our first starter weapon, or our first secondary weapon, I guess. Um, and yeah, we, we're pretty good already. A uh, beautiful thing with the bone, damage increases are uh, among the highest of the weapons that can actually get a decent speed. Uh, that is plus three. Uh, the only other things that are higher are the uh, Grand Hex and the Mines. Uh, one that ties it is the Arrow, uh, which does fire slightly slower. And, I mean, technically speaking, I, w I do say slightly slower. I mean, slightly slower is going from 0.1 seconds to 0.2 seconds, so that is technically slightly slower. Uh, however, with that in mind, it's actually significantly slower because it's literally half or half the speed. <laughs> um, so it's sort of a really weird conundrum because in terms of actual time, it's very slight, but in terms of impact, it is huge. Uh, we do have the mines, finally. Again, once you unlock your third uh, weapon, it is always, always, always best to unlock that fourth, if possible, unless there is something very important to get, because it will treat you the best uh, by removing other more options than adding, allowing you to get to your uh, key abilities as fast as possible. We're going to take some hits. We're Conrad. We don't care about hits. Uh, we'll even do some more rerolls. We want some more bone upgrades. Uh, as you can see... The damage is plus three. However, the crit is only 3%. It is uh, the worst crit growth in the game. Uh, I, I, I don't even... I don't really understand why. Um, I mean, I know it's not supposed to be a crit weapon, per se, but everything else is either 5% or, in some cases, 10% uh, uh, with the shurikens. So that's just being three makes it just feel really bad to take. Now... Normally speaking, I don't really care about the crit on this weapon. It's all about the damage and the cooldown. Uh, and that's why this is my favorite boss killer. Uh, it's my favorite boss killer in the game because it's consistent. It does not require much to get to its pretty much maximum potential. Uh, whereas with Shadow Shurikens, you really need multiple levels uh, or multiple things upgraded. Uh, with this, however, it is much more... Okay, 
I get my damage, which is three per instead of two per with the shurikens. I get my cooldown down to uh, 0.1 seconds, and then you're good. I mean, I if I'm using this as a boss killer, I don't care if I get crit on it because it, it's high enough. That three percent really does not. I mean, it's impactful. Don't get me wrong, but it's not necessary. The range, again, I mean, with once you're positioning for bosses, especially using this as a boss killer, range doesn't matter. You know, you'll get to the point where it is, uh, it's it's effective. So we're not being a huge killer with them right now, as you can see. Understandably so. I mean, even the uh, explosion of them is not doing too much damage because, again, it is 50% damage of the explosion. Uh, but we will get there. We will get there. Uh, every point in speed right now is... We're now getting to the good point in speed. We've, we've crossed the threshold where it's like, okay, I guess it's doing something. And we're getting to the point where it's, okay, now, now we're seeing the difference. And that's what's beautiful. Um, the other element uh, that I prefer with this, especially compared to the Shadow Shurikens, is that it's consistent. It's above and below you. That's it. There is no left, right. There is no pause in between its shots. You get its cooldown down, and it just fires away above and below. It's very predictable. I can just go right here, and look at that. It The boss is in it, and the boss is dead. Now, I did get a few crits, but as the speed goes up, uh, you will expect more crits, which is what's fantastic. And we're already doing 20 damage with just a few upgrades. It's, it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Uh, we do have experience everywhere and a very slow character, and I do need to get my show on the road. I need to go hunt some money. Hopefully we'll be able to get a pet that we do want. Uh, right now, the pets that we want would clearly be Magnet, uh, because we would love uh, to just suck up more experience. Uh, but at the same time, again, we won't be needing that. Uh, the other pets, uh, Big Tex, I mean, or Big Jim? Oh, God. Oh no, uh, the big whale. Um, he will. Uh, he'd be huge because we're going for big bones, you know. Big Conrad, big bones, big things all around. That's what we want. That's what we're here to see, and we will get there. Mm, garbage, garbage, garbage. Definitely don't care about the uh, crystal mining speed. Definitely don't care. Uh, about <laughs> just distracting enemies. Thankfully, we got a chest. This will give us all the money we need. We're now down to 0.3 seconds. Uh, we've hit the threshold, you know, again, we've hit the threshold before, but it, it's really showing. Going from 0.4 to 0.3 seconds. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I, I greatly apologize. Um, going from 0.4 to 0.3 seconds, you will very much see the difference of shooting two and a half times a second to three and a third. And with the next one that we do get... Oh, I just rerolled instinctively. I should not have done that. Uh, we do need our money for the shop. I should have just headed straight back to it right away. But, eh, you know, we're already approaching the level that we need, so it doesn't really matter. Um, the shop is mostly just to get a pet. And, again, really, we don't even need to suck up more experience now. We're... We're pretty set. It will be a quote-unquote rough ride as uh, we do get surrounded. Again, it only fires up and down. You, can, you can't control that. Um, but Conrad can take the hits, which is what's nice. Uh, I'm not going back to the shop until I get to 400 again. Uh, we uh, There is a, a pet right there, so let's just see what we get. Uh, we will be fine. Um, but as you can see, it's not doing anything to the boss, but you just move up above it. And look at those 87s coming in. Dead already. It. I didn't have to say, God, I hope it's going to fire in the right direction. I didn't have to say, think of anything like that. It just was, oh, the boss is coming in. Shift slightly up. I know it's dead. Handled. So, uh, all right, we'll, we'll take some speed. Speed is always a good thing to have. Now, we have some money open over here. We have some crates to the top. Oh, we just went from three and a third to five times a second. Another large, large upgrade. You can see it. It's already eating through the bosses. Crit, nice to have, but you'll get the crits from quantity. So, and there we go. Ten times a second. 
the bone wall is forming. Uh, we don't even... Oh, let us grab this chest. Fantastic, fantastic. Uh, getting our damage up there. Our crit rate, eh, 25%. But 25% does mean that we will be critting with, uh, you know, two and a half bones at a second. You know, two and a half times a second because we are firing ten times a second. That's, that's, that's pretty decent. Um, now fi hitting uh, three with that one. I'll take it, I'll take it. We can head on back to the shop. Uh, I have faith it's going to have a pet that we want. Fingers crossed the shop is still there. I have had shops disappear on me if you get too far away, but look at how fast it's just dealing with these red uh, red reapers. I have had problems even with Cleave in the past with red reapers, and just getting above them, you can just go side to side, and between the explosion and everything else, it just handles them. Bone can just handle things. It does take the most positioning of any item in the game uh, but when you get used to it you know shifting up or seeing how enemies will charge you and then shifting up or down uh, you really 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 can just decimate everything uh, we found another shop found another chest let's fuck up the money first you never never know uh, and yeah we're, we're, we're sitting pretty pretty and like I said right now this weapon can kill the boss just as is obviously I'd want a little bit more damage but, you know, I'm happy with where we're sitting. Uh, you know what? The Mandrake is more powerful with this weapon because its crit growth is the weakest. Uh, it's not, you know, that great. Uh, I, I mean, again, the crits really don't matter that much. I mean, it is triple damage. But the key is you're firing so fast, you will get there. So let's see. Uh, it should be down and to the right is the other shop. Did kind of stray a bit off the, the path, and things are respawning on me. So uh, I can't necessarily follow the uh, the empty areas. Uh, we'll, we'll get the mine. I mean, it's here. It's halfway done. Shouldn't care about the mine. Mines definitely uh, lose their value greatly in the later game. But, you know, you take what you can get. You know, we're, the patch is coming. I, I, I have that mantra. I, I, I lull myself to sleep with the patch is coming, the patch is coming. Uh, and we will get there. It's, it's you know, maybe I'll need a, a, a million purple crystals. Uh, I'm going to definitely have a stock, hopefully. Uh, my goal is to not... Hey, we found it. Look at that. Uh, and... Eh, I mean, I guess we'll, we'll take that just for... To have it, but I was hoping for big, uh, the big whale. Um, so yeah, patch is coming. <clears throat> we, <clears throat> ooh, something is crawling in my throat. I apologize again. Um, we will get there. The patch is coming. The bones are flying. It's, it's not. It's not bad. Uh, we look at this. I mean, the range is there. I honestly don't really upgrade range as well. Uh, in a general sense, when I use Bone, uh, it literally is just those two upgrades. It allows me to essentially get a third weapon at least partially started. So that's another reason I, I like it so much, because you do not have to invest many, many points. I mean, essentially, you, you get it speed up a couple of points into damage. I mean, if you can max damage out, that's fantastic. I mean, 30 extra damage is huge. Range, you can keep at its minimum. You know, proper positioning will get you the kills. And that's it. Uh, the crit rate, again, nice to have. Hey, look, the boss is there, and now he's dead. Oh, all of his things that spawned died from the little explosions. You, you, it doesn't get much better. I mean, if I had the shurikens there, they would have been firing to the left. They would have been firing to the right. Uh, they, you know eventually once they hit the boss it would have died but it's getting it to hit the boss that i always find being problematic especially in parts like this i mean you can't necessarily control where the shuriken's gonna fly when you're getting swamped like this i mean i guess you technically can if you're using cleave and things like that and you know clearing out specific areas and blah 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 it just gets far more uh difficult to say the least um, you can see these crits for 117 coming in. Uh, the splash damage actually doing some good work. So, I don't know. I, I think Bone just makes things easier. Uh, the other reason I do like Bone on top of all of the others is it's very non-intrusive. 
Uh, I do think Vivian is my favorite character. I, I just like having the natural magnet. I like the extra experience. Uh, I think levels are the most powerful thing in the game, far more powerful than uh, anything else. But, you know, with her, you really... Actually, let's keep going. Hold on. Uh, with all the levels that you get from her and everything like that, you can really get a number of weapons up. So, I don't know. It's just, it's quick, it's easy. You want to maximize the weapon you pick with her. Uh, you know, generally cleave, but it can be anything else, be that uh, spears or, you know, generally a clearing weapon. Maybe maybe it's arrow. Maybe you're trying grand hex. You know, anything that, with that. But when you're playing with her, uh, unless you are using vines, which I will be using a vine video, um, you really want whatever your main weapon to be getting the kills. And if you have bone, you can, while you can position for bone to get kills, you can also position for bone to sort of be a do nothing other than a boss weapon. Um, especially if you're using cleave, cleave just clears everything out. It, you know, shooting up and down, that doesn't matter because you're clearing out side to side and up and down really doesn't exist. So the less intrusive you are to your main leveling weapon, the more experience you're going to get. So with this, you know, vines and mines with cleave, you really don't have anything that's going to hit an enemy, uh, in your cleave range. So you can fully maximize that cleave is getting every kill possible with the increased chance. And it's just another little aspect of the weapon that I do love. So these bones, though, when they are the primary focus... Again, I haven't done too much to the other weapons. Uh, take a look. As you can see here, we're at 10, 8, 10, and 3. And we, you know... We've gotten some levels on the others. Uh, we will get some more range. I should get some more crit, but again, I'm showing how fast things are dying. This is no crit. It's dead. Uh, we will get to the bottom. Well, not no crit. It's three. Um, don't get me wrong. Seven more crit will be 21% more, which is, you know, that's a significant number. But for the amount of levels that it will take, it is, it is a little lacking, as I was saying before. But, you know, beggars can't be choosers. Uh, I mean, Conrad is so strong, we're just walking through everything, which is fantastic. These enemies are some of the hardest to kill. I re remember when I was trying to kill them with Cleave, they very much were uh, a problem. I can just walk, and I know that they will die as I pass. I don't even have to stop and check. So, just dead, 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 dead. They're all dead. Our range, we have we have the full bone wall. I mean, up, up top to the bottom, we have the full bone wall. It's it's effective. Um, don't need the range again, but it's fun to see. It's nice. Spears, you know, just doing our, doing the good work to protect us. We'll get another boss on the go. Almost up to 50% too, which is pretty huge considering they are doing 126 damage on a crit. So, one of the highest uh, hitting boss killer weapons. Again, unlike shurikens and arrow, however, it cannot exceed 10 damage. So, not being able to exceed 10 damage levels. Uh, you know, I mean, if it could, I mean, we would be probably ending a standard run when you're powering it up with... Oop, let's see how well this boss fares. And it's dead. Okay, there we go. Not too bad. I'll take it. Um, we probably would be ending with 15 to 17 levels in damage if it could break it. And that would be pretty significant. I mean, that would essentially... I mean, ten more or five more levels uh, would be another 15 damage for, uh, for off the bat and 45 damage on a crit. I mean, that's, that's pretty substantial if it could. Um, I'm not saying it's ever going to be able to break the limit. I doubt it. But it is is—it is a little fun to think about that maybe, hey, who knows what the patch is going to bring. I mean, it is going to bring some balances and things like that. Um, I will now say the other reason for this map, besides the fact that there are plenty of skeletons that we have been killing with our bigger bone, 
is that it's the final boss. Uh, the final boss of this one is very slow moving, and honestly, eh, let's just keep it rolling. Who, who really cares? We might get that last crit, which we did. Look at that, fully powered bone. Ah, oh, just just hurling them out there. Sixty percent crit, basically. Thanks to our pet, but, you know, I'll take the 60%. Uh, just perfect. That's exactly where we want to be. We really didn't do much to the others. We'll get a little bit more in the number. Um, but the final boss of this one is actually the worst one for the bone. Uh, I say that for two reasons. One, it's incredibly slow. Uh, which may be a benefit, but it may not be depending on where he spawns. So we got kind of lucky. He spawned up above us, so he's now going to be super easy. Look at it, look at it. I mean, boom, dead. Now, had he spawned all the way to the right over here, you know, in line with us all the way to the right, Bone's going to be useless. So, it can be a, well, it's a waiting game for him to get into position, which is fine, but you saw how fast he died. I mean, you can wait for him to get to the center, and it doesn't matter. You got time. Um, it is... A benefit that I did play on the 30% speed map, uh, again, uh, with Conrad, I do tend to do that. It just makes him so much more playable. Uh, and it increases your experience because enemies are getting closer to you, and that's exactly what you want as Conrad. So, this is Bone. Uh, I mean, it's back, baby. I, oh, I love it so much. I, I, I can't say enough things. Uh, get get going uh i let, i just want to highlight especially for the bone um up here we do have speed cooldown reduction this cooldown reduction is very important some damage and a banner for damage again very important but the key here is the second cooldown reduction uh and then size 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 and some range and then over here uh we have speed cooldown reduction this cooldown reduction is very important range and another cooldown reduction so these two cooldown reductions I don't believe there's one over here. There's not another bandage plus one. But once you get these two cooldown reductions and the cooldown reduction over here, you essentially can get your maximum speed bone on. So you, I mean, don't get me wrong, going down the other paths is great. Uh, it, it's always good to have more points in weapons that you're using. Uh, but I think bone is effectively usable once you get those three cooldown reductions, along with, you know, the starter unlocks, just because you should... You know, these are very cheap. I don't even consider not getting them. But for the more expensive uh, tiers, uh, once you get those, Bone is uh, is usable. I mean, if you think about it, it does say only 0.05 seconds. Uh, but at max, say you didn't have any of them, you're going from 10 bones a second to 4 bones a second. Huge difference. Now you get one of them, boom, now you're at 5 bones a second. You get another one, oh, geez. You know, you're at six and uh six and two thirds six and two thirds bones a second and then you get one more and you're at 10 it it just jumps so fast and that's why those three are very important i do think the banner upgrades are worth it as well to get before you really main it um but again it the crit does not matter nearly as much uh, you saw how much damage it was doing it killed the boss just fine and again that boss i think is the hardest boss for it uh, even though charger bosses may be considered harder, uh, you can generally get them to charge and land in a position above or below you, and then you just kill them once they do. Uh, it's, just, it's just that. So, just some positioning uh, and a whole lot of fun. So, uh, there are some more videos planned uh, for the next couple of days. Again, fingers crossed that the patch comes. I don't know when that will be happening because, you know, they're still working on it. Hopefully it comes out. Uh, once it comes out, every video that I plan will be scrapped, and if it does not, uh, I will be coming up with some new ones. So thank you very much. Please like, uh, leave me a comment if you want to see anything else, if you have any ideas, if, you want, if I said something wrong and want to correct me. Uh, please let me know. Uh, subscribe. It does help. Uh, you know, lets me know that... I, you know, you enjoy it, so thank you very much, and have a wonderful day. Happy hunting!